let me show y'all what I'm doing this relay ain't kicking on so I'm doing away with it I'm gonna leave the fuse link in because that's my direct hot these are linked to the wires right here so I'm just gonna redo all this and run me a wire to the toggle switch I got in there to here and then run one back out to here and then that way I cut the fans on on and off in there that way I don't have no mishaps because yesterday like I said I had to hit this yesterday get these to kick on and can't have that so all right, let me get busy like I said this is real simple stuff I'm just cutting all cutting it here cutting it there and then this is gone and then that right there goes into a direct hot which is here and then this right here runs all the way back into here I'm gonna keep this fuse link in between here and here so all right I'll holler at y'all in a bit simple stuff here hated to use both white but it's the only thick wire that I had uh, you know I didn't want to use too thin to get hot and catch on fire so but anyways I left the uh, there's the fuse link right there coming from my power up into here of course into the cab back out this is one runs back to the fans and now you know it was set where it was supposed to come on at 160 but it kept messing up and now we got toggle switch like I said easy peasy stuff man everybody's wired up some toggle switches and fans but now I don't have to worry about it if it's gonna come on if it's not gonna come on I just cut them on as soon as the car crank starts running I'm gonna cut the fans off so no more issue with that no more running hot on that issue which it wasn't before but uh, you know it is what it is but that's it for the day now I'm gonna go over and do that donut gasket so I'm gonna jump over and do that donut gasket and call it a day all right let me get back busy